Hello. So what's going on? Pretty sure no one's watching just yet. Oh, cool. We got one person. Whoever's watching, hello. How's it going? It's probably going to be a eh, relatively shorter live stream today. Oh, we got four people watching. Hello. Hello. We got Power Rider. We got K the Red Ninja 09. Oh, seven people. Thank you. Thank you guys for showing up here tonight. I appreciate it. We got Pascal Fan, Chris Bennett. Thank you. Um, tonight, I uh, just have going to be here super, super long. Uh, just have an unboxing of a HLJ box that arrived that I want to open up. Uh, it has some goodies in there. So we're looking forward to that. It's been, oh, it's been, <laughs> it's been one crazy day <laughs> that's for sure between all the lightning news uh game awards stuff going on disney just dropped a bunch of stuff on us it's been very chaotic um but uh so tonight i was originally going to upload a unboxing review first impressions video of the wave 7 and uh, pr green who got here today um i just didn't get that edited yet uh, i'll just get it out tomorrow i'll just push it till tomorrow uh, so you're going to view tomorrow because uh, I wasn't necessarily going to have one ready to go for tomorrow. So that's that's good. Um, so let's see. Oh, a day it has been. I need to thank you for showing up, man. It definitely has. Uh, what do I think about the Quasar Saber being replaced by the Magnetalon? So, yeah, that thing is weird. Um, I can't believe that they decided to keep the full Quasar Saber exclusive to the two pack. That's very strange to me, but if that's what they want to do, then that's what they want to do. What the product description says, it's clearly just the holstered uh, Quasar Saber, not the uh, Magneton uh, Trans Dagger, so, which is really weird. But, I mean, hey, honestly, I really prefer... No, well, I don't prefer, but I really like that we have the Quasar Launcher. Um, I think that's a really cool inclusion, and if... I mean, honestly, I was going to buy the rebuy Lost Galaxy Raid either way. Um, so that was going to happen but you know um you know we're not getting the trans dagger it was in the product description but it just it's not there i don't know it's really weird um i don't know what they're doing but it's very strange and then yeah so you just get the holstered you get the holstered one and it's it's odd and then ethan comes with the tricera shield yep my original news video today before we have the official reveal of them uh, after i have the photos uh, i didn't see the triceratops shield on the photo so i wasn't sure if he was if he had uh fully he has it uh that was in the official has for reveal of it which is really it's after connor had the tyranno staff i was hoping all the dino thunder rangers would have that still holding out hope that like kira or something if we ever get a kira uh could come with like the folded up tyranno staff so maybe we can make a z-rex blaster or something i think that'd be really cool uh and i really appreciate it if they could do that and maybe if tommy could come with like the little attachment pieces that attach the Brachio staff and Jago sword onto the top of the Z-Rex blaster. I think that'd be really cool. Um, that's all just wishful thinking. Uh, it's what I would personally want them to do, but you know, we'll see. So uh, I'll talk more about wave eight in more detail. Uh, now that we know everything about it uh, on lightning storm on Saturday, uh, since I just want to get a lightning storm out today, and all of it was relevant and new, but there's a couple more details and things just, well, besides, I need something to cover on Saturday anyway, unless something happens in the next two days. But uh, Power Rider said, waiting for the day that uh, Lightning does something that I want. Oh, wow. They haven't done anyone that you want yet? Uh, I, 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 they need to stop doing figures that I want. Because, I mean, granted, I think at this point I'm, I'm in for life. I can't stop now. Um, actually, just as of like two hours ago, I have the final spectrums that I needed on the way to me. Thankfully, so, so I was able to get someone who's able to get the monsters. So it's really appreciated. Uh, what if RPM figures had moving wheels? That would be really cool. Like the spinning, like on their uh, on the cuffs and everything, where like they use them as weapons. That'd be really neat. I would like that a lot. Um, honestly, I just want RPM figures in general because like RPM is such a good series, and I love the characters so much, and the suits are great. That uh, I I love that RPM and Samurai. Yes, absolutely. As a CG5 archives just said there. Yeah, Samurai would be great too. Samurai is, uh, it's hard, like, do I say it's nostalgic? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's like almost 10 years old at this point, but it's the first series that I ever watched. So I do think I have a lot of, you know, sentimental 
still value it. I would love to see samurai uh, lightning figures, even though I have plenty of figures of samurai. I have like the basic figures and the figure arts and things like that. But of course, I wouldn't be opposed against lightning. I mean, I have this giant samurai poster on my wall back here. <laughs> I love samurai a lot, so I, I would totally be down for that. Um, but uh, yeah, let's see. Just making sure. Yeah, I tweeted out the link. Good. I couldn't remember if I did or not. So, uh, G Ranger said metallic pink shipped today. Uh, yes, mine did too. Um, so hopefully she will arrive here. This day. Uh, so many of the lightning figures are um, are arriving. <laughs> uh, we have all. I have five spectrums on the way. I have metallic pink on the way. I have the versus packs on the way. The regular packaging of those which I think are going to be here tomorrow, according to FedEx. So we'll see about that. Uh, Mighty Morphin Green took 100 years to get here. He was supposed to be here Saturday. That's what USPS said. And then they delayed him, and he got here on Thursday. So almost a week delay. And it was like 20 minutes away from my house for the last five days. It was really ridiculous. Um, so did you hear some Zenkaidra news? I saw all the toy listings and everything. Uh I'm afraid because it all sounds really cool and I, I, I'm going to be spending a lot of money. Uh, but we're going to be talking all about those, I'm sure, on the on RR The Street tomorrow night, which I'm a part of if you don't if you didn't know that. So make sure you guys check that out tomorrow night when you'll hear all of our thoughts on the Zenkaiger stuff. I can't wait to see what the suits look like. Uh, I like the color scheme. I like the idea of the Sentai gears. I think they'll probably be somewhat similar to the Ultra Mills. Um, that's just kind of what I'm thinking in here. So... We'll see about that. But uh, let's see what else we got going on in the chat here. How do you think we will get the lights of Orion? I don't know. Um, I never thought the Wave 8 version of uh, Leo would have that, and he doesn't. So I don't know. I feel like maybe they could do it some other point in time. Maybe five pack or something. I don't know. Um, let's see. Senkai White is leader. Yep, that's going to be cool. It's kind of like a big one jacket situation. Not to beat a dead horse, but why do they keep getting the visor lining for Zio and Dino Thunder run? I know. It's so strange. Uh, at least Dino Thunder is consistently run because every Dino Thunder Ranger has had a visor problem with red and blue having silver visors. And then, you know, Dino Thunder White, how that went. So, you know. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, specifically a Samurai Red Decker 2-pack. I would love that. That'd be a great 2-pack. Yeah, Lon's Toys is here. Chris, another R of the Streets cast member there. I got five boxes today from Pulse, and one was the size of a small coffin. That's like the, the Zia Megazord one when that one arrived. That box was huge for, like, no reason at all. Um, Tenkai Toast is there. Hey, Katie, how's it going? That's my girlfriend right there. Uh, what do you think about Adam for the skull? Oh, it's so good. Adam's head looks amazing. Um, really happy of how that. Turned. What do I think would be the next CSM belt? Probably the Genesis driver. If we're going to keep going in the game direction and they've already hinted the Genesis driver. Like we know we're getting it. We just haven't seen it yet. So that would probably be the next one. Uh, actually speaking of game stuff, there's game stuff in this box and I'm going to open in a minute here. Uh, we have a few Dino Fury news. Yes, uh, the Dino Fury toys. I say I'm, I don't want to get the figures, but we all know I'm going to get the figures. I mean, is that really a surprise at this point? <laughs> I'm going to get the villain figures. I'm not impressed by our version of these all that much. Uh, I think ours of the Resouls look pretty awful. <laughs> but, I mean, it all depends on... Depends, is that what I just said? Depends on how much lightning, you know, does next year. I would hope we get Dino Fury lightning. Uh, there's been no codes to indicate that we are. Because personally, I don't think the Beast Warfers once did all that well. So I don't think that they're super eager to jump right into Dino Fury and lightning. But I wouldn't be opposed to getting it at all. Um, but, uh, yeah, we have 23 people watching right now, which is awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here. I didn't know how if I did the stream a little bit later if a lot of people would show up or not, but this box, it's in here, and I think it's time to open it, so we got this pretty hefty box from HLJ, so let me just uh, get this going here. So there's going to be some, there's a pretty decent amount of stuff in here. None of it is like Sentai or 
PR or anything. But Japan's sounds like adult diapers for Japanese adults. <laughs> You're right. Uh, just opening this there. Off topic, but just watch Ryuki and a damn top three for me. Yeah, Ryuki is so good. Uh, Ryuki is one of my all time favorite rider series. And if you have not watched it yet, I highly recommend it. Look at that. Look at that beautiful tray of stuff. All stuff that I'm sure Chris knows what it is because I'm sure he already has all of this already. All right. Because I've already I've already seen reviews of some of this stuff from him. All right. Let's see. What do we got to start here? Do I see the link? I didn't see a link. No, not in the chat. Um, Dino Fury Zords. I forgot about those. Like I do kind of want those. But, you know, this trade's a little smaller than I was expecting. I mean, it's everything. It's everything that should be here. Um, so we got Ultraman stuff. We got Rider. I guess that's really it. <laughs> I, don't know, I didn't know what else I was expecting to say there. Um, but there's a lot of stuff in here I've been excited for. So let's go ahead and uh, get into it here. So, so they stacked my little uh, Ride books into the... Uh, in the Wave 8 video, the link. Like in the comments? Or... Uh, maybe. I don't know. I can't I can't think of it right now. Um, let's see. What else we got? Alright. So, let's start with these Wonder Ride books. So, first up, we got Sayo Journey, which will go really nice with Brave Dragon and Storm Eagle to complete his Wonder Combo. So that is appreciated and nice there. I, I'm not collecting everything in Saber right now. Uh, in fact, this is going to be my last Saber purchase for a little bit, I would imagine. Um, but I wanted to finish the trios out because I already had finished Blades. So I decided to finish Sabers. And then where is it over here? And there's a spot as Tri Cerberus book to finish his Wonder Eyed combo. So there is that. And then there's two other Wonder Ride books here. They are more Legend Rider ones, uh, which I'm not picking all these up yet either. Not yet. But I did get Gaim. I had to get the Gaim one. So this is the Sengoku Gaim Imaki Wonder Ride book. So that one looks really cool. I love how it has the faceplate art from the Sengoku driver. And then this is the Pando Rabbit No Build. So the Build Wonder Ride book. So I really want to get in the Drive one. I just haven't yet. <laughs> so I, let's see. Cades, Geo of the Legend Rider ones. I also want to get Ryuki's too, but that's a candy toy one, so that would be not difficult to track down, but just like a little bit more effort than I, than I want to go through. Now, this wouldn't be an HLJX if I didn't have vinyls in here, because we all know how that goes. So I do have two vinyls. Both of them are from Jeed, because uh, HLJ actually got restocks on these. And, uh, oh, great. I'm robo-joshing. We love... I love when I Robo Josh. Usually it happens during the uh, <laughs> during the podcast, but of course it's going to happen now. But I'm going to just keep going. So uh, I'm currently watching Jeed on the Shop Factory TV stuff. So <laughs> Beep Hoop Jeed 2 D2. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm currently watching Jeed on the shop factory tv uh to be thing or whatever and so i wanted to get some jeed vinyls so i did get zero bond which is one i've been trying to track i also needed zero beyond for the to complete the delta rise claw trio with belly atrocious and uh just jeed so there is zero beyond so that's a good one to add and then i had to get him because he kind he came back in stock and he's great i got pega so this is the from the Ultra Monster series. It's Pega. So I really like how that one turned out. I think it's really cool. So yeah, we got Zero Beyond and Pega. These are the only vinyls in here, though. Uh, there will be more vinyls eventually because I pre-ordered the Jonas Tregear, uh, the what else was there? Uh, Great Powered eighty that Tiga set. So a bunch of stuff. Now, these are probably what I was the most excited for. Uh, these got revealed like three months ago. And I've been super excited for them ever since we first saw them. And that is the Deluxe EX 
ultra metal sets. So these are big sets of six medals a piece. So 24 new ultra medals here, which is amazing. <laughs> so uh, set one right here is basically the zero set. So this has uh, Shining Zero, Glenfire, Mirbot, Genebot, Gene 9, and then Jeed, but in the red rim, and compared to the gold rim from the Delta Rise Claw set, which I like a lot. So this is a really good set of zero related medals. And then set two is new generation ultras in their like final forms from the show. So we have Gingastrium, Victory Knight, uh, Exceed X, Jeed Royal Mega Master, Groob, and Taiga Tristrium. So we got those ones. And then set three is all blue trimmed metals. So these are that's a new color we haven't seen before. And these ones are going to be uh, the movie forms. So we got uh, Ginga Victory, Exceed X, Beta Spark Armor, Orb Trinity, Jeed Ultimate Final, uh, Groob, and Taiga Tristrium. There we go. I couldn't think of it. So we do have those. And then this final set's just kind of like a free-for-all. It's just whoever we wanted. So we got a silver trimmed medal with the six Ultra Brothers. We got Lunar Miracle Zero. We got Justice, Hikari, 80, and Reboot. So Hikari is a really good medal to get because there's a lot of Jeed and Orb combinations that use Hikari that we, that we couldn't do before until we've had these. So a lot of these are somewhat frivolous, uh, especially the the show final form set because with the exception of i believe only i think maybe what exceed x and royal mega master no you could do that with the maybe just exceed x i think you could do everything else here with just little medals but if you wanted you can just get them all done in one medal so you know i wanted i mean i'm gonna get all the medals anyway so hlj actually just put up today the the new medals that just got announced, which we'll be talking about in the streets tomorrow night, but the uh, the special set, with the Leto card, which thankfully they're releasing the Leto card in a retail format. That's so helpful uh, with the the brothers and Zero with the mantles, and in that other set with a, a re-release of all of the new generation ultras. So, which is really helpful. Um, and also, you get a Zet medal in that, and I really like that. I'm just trying to put this off to the side before they all fall over. And then we just have one thing left in here, but it is still a really good thing. So this is Soto Chronicle Dime Set 1. So where did my cutters go? There we go. So I typically don't pre-order Soto all the time because it's just I can't afford it all the time. But I love Gaim. <laughs> Gaim is my favorite rider series. And when they announced that they were going to be doing a Soto Chronicle set of Gaim, well, I couldn't pass that up. So there is Soto Chronicle Gaim set one. So um, this is going to be, this has Gaim, Baron, Ryugan, and Zengetsu in their main forms. And then you get an extra Gaim body and an extra orange arms. I don't know what I'm going to do with the orange arms, but the Gaim body I'm going to save I'm either going to use that and use the stickers that they give you with just the, the blank Gaim face, or I'm definitely going to be buying extras on Mandarake and stuff to make all of the other arm swaps that appeared in like the Hyper Battle DVDs and things like that, and also Gaim Banana. Um, but Soto Chronicle Gaim, uh, I think this is going to be a long, long line of figures, and I really hope that they get through everything. So I have everything pre-ordered from Soto Chronicle Gaim. So set two is out in February with Kachidoki, Jimba for Gaim, and then Lemon Energy for Baron and Zengatsu Shin. And then the first premium set is out, and I think I think that was March. And that has uh, Duke, Sigurd, and Mardika. So they're already going on with it, with all the Soto Gaim stuff. So this is here. Uh, I've had this pre-ordered for like five months now. I can't believe it's been that long since this got announced. But that is here, and I, I'm really hyped for it. I'll probably be building that during the uh, the streets on Friday, I would imagine. <laughs> uh, or tomorrow, I guess. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's that's everything in the HLJ box. So let's see. How much do I want to open it? So let's see. What, let me just get to read through the chat here for a minute. 
Uh, should the Lightning Collection have the green trans dagger? I mean, they all should have the trans dagger. Um, I'm very curious because we are getting Lost Galaxy Blue in Wave 9. So I'm very curious what he's going to end up having. If he'll have the Quasar Launcher uh, like Red does. If he'll have, I hope he would have his full Quasar Saber with the, the Gorilla Galacta Beast on it. That'd be great. Um, when I first saw Wave 7, it was kind of a letdown for me. If any from Wave 8, who would you want in the fourth slot? I would say SPD pink um oh you mean from like wave eight into wave seven something like that i mean honestly wave seven's lineup is very strange <laughs> for sure i i wish that we had a proper fourth figure it was supposed to be in space black before something happened and we got the re-release of mighty morphin white instead i don't know what happened with that the, his code still exists out there somewhere hopefully we see the figure someday i'm sure we will i just something might have, must have happened uh, I, re I recently rewatched the RR episode where you mentioned you ordered from HLJ for the first time. Yeah, I think my first HLJ order was like last summer, like in 2019. Uh, I mean, I had always heard of the store numerous times, but until I got a job last summer, I could never afford it. Uh, I still really can't afford it, but you know, we still <laughs> we make it we make it work. Um, Power Rider said, "Hope you don't have sticker issues with orange and mellow arms peeling and banana arms as left shoulder constantly popping off." Ah. Uh, the shoulder pads on Soto figures are always like that sometimes. My Zero One's shoulder pads are like that. Uh, who else's was like that that was always really frustrating? Was it was it one of these guys, one of the Another Riders? I think it was. Another... Who was it? I'm pretty sure it was one of them. Another O's? Oh, another O's, yeah. I think it was another O's uh, behind me there. But, yeah, I, I'm going to be... So, they didn't give you stickers in the Soto set for Ryugen and Zangetsu and Baron using all of the other swaps from the Hyper Battle DVD. So like, uh, for example, Zangetsu uses Budo in that, in that DVD special, but they don't give you a sticker for that. So before I put any of the stickers on, I'm going to scan them uh, just to have backups for them anyway. Uh, but also just so I can get that eye texture and I'm going to make my own because Really, that's all you need. You just need the stickers, the uh, Soka Driver one, and the one for the eyes, and you can you can pull it off. So I am going to be working on that, uh, and if that comes along uh, smoothly, I mean that's put in my queue of one hundred other projects I'm trying to get working on right now. But if I get around to it, I will finish that up and post it on my Twitter or whatever, or probably on the Soda Pop Twitter actually. But um. Marcus Lee, Marcus Lee said, I would personally love to see some Alien Rangers and Jungle Fury. Absolutely. Um, I would love both of those. I think Alien Rangers would be a really good like five-pack set um, just to knock them all out at once. I think that would be a good idea. Or, you know, they could sprinkle them out. Uh, like Delphine would probably sell pretty well. Arco because he's a Red Ranger. And also because we're already halfway done with the Forever Red display. So I think people would want to get him. At least that's just my opinion. Um, what are some websites that you recommend for buying Japanese toys? Well, for things that are coming out new, uh, like as they're happening, HLJ is, is great. Um, highly, highly recommend them. Sometimes they take a little long to get things. It's weird, um, like to put them up on their site. But once things actually release, they, they're super quick. Um, much better than AmiAmi. I cannot stress that enough. Um, Mandarake is the best place to get anything that is older or Yahoo Japan auctions or Mercari or whatever like that. Uh, but Mandarake is a dangerous, dangerous place for your wallet. Uh, you will be spending so much money there. <laughs> it's, it's a never ending pit, uh, of just amazing stuff. Um, KDM, the man said, what up, Josh? What's up, man? How's it going? Um, one thing I learned to not do with your lightning collection figures is to not use rubbing alcohol to get paint, to get off paint. Oh yeah. I would not do that. Um, thankfully I haven't had to do too much stuff to my lightning figures. I'm a little afraid about some of them that are coming in here. I I've seen some interesting things with the a squad blue figure. Uh, I've seen a friend of mine had his, the hand broke on it <laughs> and I'm like, Oh, that's always the thing that I'm so terrified of ever happening to them. Um, but also, I have to get a sticker off of the box. My Spectrum Z Putty, that's going to be here uh, soon, maybe. If USPS... It, well, it was supposed to be here Monday. Right now, I don't know where it is. But if it ever decides to get here, there's a giant sticker on the front of the box from Target's website. Uh, so I'm going to have to try to carefully remove that. 
But I am working on a video about the Spectrum boxes and just the complete horror show it's been to try to track all of them down. But now that I have all of them on the way, uh, I should be able to complete that relatively soon. I'm hoping to release that on the 20th. That's my targeted release date. So about 10 days from now, a little over a week. Um, we'll see how that goes. I'm, I'm trying to put a lot of effort into that. So I hope it does well. And I hope you guys enjoy it too. Um, but that will be coming out, if not on the 20th, by the end of the month. Um, how long did it take me to get my main 20 Heisei riders? Ah, oh, that's a good question. Um, I, well, I got my first ride watch in December of 2018, which was the Geo driver, the Geo driver, the Jiku driver with Geo and build. And I got my final one in November of last year. Cause I got O's was the last one I got. And, wow. It's already been a year since that. Wow. Yeah, so it's been, it took me about 11 months to complete all of the main 20. Uh, I'm not done with ride watches, though. Not by a long shot. Um, I still have a, plenty of the uh, premium Bandai ones and the promotional ones to track down. I just, like, I have to pick and choose. I had to pause ride watches to resume uh, to Ultra Metals and Lightning Collection and now Soto Gaim. Right now, my prime focus is Ultra Metals, Lightning Collection, and Soto Gaim. If I can cover those three things... We're great. Lightning collection at the top. That's for, first and foremost. And then I guess probably metals, maybe? And then then Gaim. Um, but let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Would Mega Force be hard? The real challenge is the Morpher. I think I think that um, Mega Force would be interesting. Uh, I would love to see them come with like the Gose Morphers or the Legendary Morpher too would be cool for Mega Force to even have since they do use that to turn into Super Mega Force. Uh, I, I just I'm I, I'm upset because I think that Mega Force is probably not very fan desired. Um, but it's a season that I enjoy in, in like a way to where I like I know it's not good, but like I still find it really enjoyable. Um, and so I would very much like to get uh, figures of like Robo Knight would be great. Um, Granted, I just love the Gokaiger and Gosager suits, so I'm down for that. Uh, but hopefully we get Mega Force someday. Uh, maybe use a heat gun to slowly peel the sticker off. That's probably what I'm going to do. Um, the uh, So that original Spectrum SPD pack that I had, the one that had the missing piece, if you follow me on Twitter, you saw that. Um, that had a sticker very similar on the bottom of the box over the barcode. And since I was returning that set anyway to get a replacement set, which I do have. I did get a replacement set. Um, I already had practice peeling the sticker off. Uh, I used a hairdryer, actually, just to slowly heat it up a little bit. And it was not too bad. It didn't leave too much residue or anything. So I'm not worried about getting the sticker off the Z-Putty. I'm just frustrated that I have to even go through that at all because I don't know why Target thinks it's okay to do that. I don't know, especially on a limited packaging. Why would they? And they put it, uh, the picture of the one that I'm receiving, it's right on the Power Rangers logo on the front of the lightning box. It's not on the bottom or anything. It's literally like right over it, uh, the, the logo. And it's like, why? <laughs> um, my pumpkin wrapper was missing an arm piece. Really? Man, that's frustrating. I don't know what's going on with the new stuff. because So like my Spectrum SPD, SPD blue pack was missing the effect piece. I've seen some people who had missing uh, like the the leg armor, I guess, that Astronomer has, the one you, like, plug her little boomerang onto, I've seen some people, is they're missing that on theirs. Like, the whole piece is just not there. And you're missing you're missing an arm piece? That's so weird. I don't understand why there's so many weird production issues with the new stuff, because it's all the new stuff. All the Monsters and Versus packs that just came out recently. Um, Este and Josh collab, make it happen. I would love to work with Este again. I've worked with him before on things in the past. I'm always down to, to work with him. He's a really, really cool dude. Um, I will get the Mega Force because I enjoyed Gosager. Yeah, I mean, Gosager was fun. Gokaiger, I love Gokaiger. Um, yeah, I mean, Mega Force, let's do it. I, I really want to see if they do anything with uh, Gose Green since he was on that comic cover. Maybe, maybe there's something there. Uh, as Skittle said, hey, Josh, what's up, man? How's it going? Man, Wave 6 was frustrating. The quality is horrible. Wave 6 was very strange. It felt very phoned in. Um, cause like, it's, it just, I mean, it, it was a cost cutting wave. It's, I think it's pretty easy to understand that. I mean, Goldar was the same figure except for very, very minor paint differences in the wings and everything. And then you had in space yellow was probably the best figure that wave. And then Zeo red was missing a lot of weird 
uh, paint applications in comparison to Zeo Blue and Zeo. Actually, I think Zeo Green. I got to take a look at it again, but I think Zeo Green is missing the same applications that Red was missing. So at least the two of them are consistent in that aspect. And then Mighty Morphin Black was fine. Uh, I always thought the uh, the Zack head was okay. I like that we got the Blade Black in the sword mode, but then like the Morpher was missing the red trim around it and everything like that, so it was very strange. Um, let's see. My first figure had the Blaster mode wrong. Luckily, I got a new one on discount. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you were able to get that fixed. Uh, collab with MMPR Toys. Hey, Bruno's Bruno's content's really fun, but I'm sure he would never work with, <laughs> with anyone like me. I'm way too small for him. Um, especially Zia Red. Did any reviewer point out that Dragon Evolution 3's helmet is not black, just a metallic gray color? I guess it is, yeah. Um, I still never understood why none of the promo shots of that figure ever had him wearing the helmet, just like him holding the helmet. I always thought he looked cooler with the helmet on. That's how I have him displayed. So, I don't, I don't know. Uh, just don't collab with that Lon's toy guy. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like working with Chris. What, what a what a pain. I mean, I, you know, I tolerate him on our the streets every Friday night, but it's just uh, it's, so, it's so chaotic. But no, Chris is a great dude. Um, SPD and DC Keeper save the Kruger. Uh, do do had to buy doubles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wave. Wave 6 is weird. I mean, because it's also like, it was here for like five seconds. Because, you know, like, they announced Wave 6 on August 14th. They got found on August 22nd, randomly in stores. And then it came out kind of in September. By the time September rolled around, we're already getting Wave 7 revealed. We're already getting it found in Canada and in Target and everything. So it felt like its time of relevancy was like five seconds, and it's gone. Um like for right now, wave seven is still technically what well, it is, the like current wave. And wave eight is still gonna be a couple months away. Or knowing how things usually go, a couple weeks away. Uh even March, I'm sure in like January or something. I just hope that Josh, I finally did it. I got the fighting spirit green pack, all, all the current one in blaze, and I'll be all caught up. I'm happy to hear it, man. I'm glad you're able to find that pack. I know that one's hard to get. So good job. Uh can't wait for my Adam. My Zeo collection is growing. Yeah, Adam, I can't wait for it. I think it's going to be great. Oh, no. I'm robo-joshing out. Well, I'm hoping that I'm... <laughs> hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, come on. Return. I'm just going to keep going because I never know when it when my internet craps out like that. So I'm hoping it's good. If it's not, I'm sorry. If it is and I'm just talking about it, then I'll move on. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'm really laggy. I... My internet is horrible, and I never know how bad it is. Because on my end, it always looks fine. Everything looks great. And then I get people in the chat saying, oh, you're laggy, you're roboting. And I'm like, oh, I, I okay, <laughs> I can't do anything about it. Uh, that's how I feel on the streets on Friday night. I, I always feel like I, I can almost never talk because everything is just so chaotic with my internet. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, thank you. I'm happy. Thank you for letting me know that it's good. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, buying doubles, I mean, sometimes, you know, <laughs> it's just how it is with the paint applications. Very strange. I, I am lucky that I haven't had anything like too, too horrible with paint applications when it comes to everything with lightning, but, uh, you know, uh, do I have a video showing the codes for the spectrum series? I saw the video reposted two to three of them, but I don't recall another video sharing all the codes, the codes, so like the barcodes. Um, have I shown them all? I mean, I know I've shown wave seven barcodes and the versus barcodes because we didn't have the monster ones at the time. All of the barcodes are on um, Green Ranger's site, uh, John Green's site. If you've ever been to that site, it's an amazing toy resource. It has all of the barcodes for everything Lightning, including all the Spectrums. Uh, so if you need them, uh, they're on there. Uh, they didn't actually, the Spectrums didn't have any coded names, like none of the like BLT you know, Mars, Romeo, all that stuff. It didn't have that um, because they were just, you know, basically just special packaging you know, of the Wave 7 ones. So I guess technically in the Monsters and Verses. So I guess technically they just have the same codes as they as those ones did. Um, but yeah, no actual like code names. But yeah, the barcodes are on his site if you still need them for anything. 
Most of some of no, none of them. I was gonna say none of them are in the log book yet because the log book is taking me so long to try to update. Uh, but I did just finish my uh, fall semester of uh, this year of college today, so I am f- sort of free for the next month. Uh, I am going back to work on Sunday night because uh, I work the night shift at my local grocery store, so I will be going back to that starting on Sunday. So I will have a little bit less time, but I will be working on updating the log book and I'm hoping to have it all a hundred percent all good and updated by the end of the year. Um, Spring Roland is here. Thank you. Thanks for showing up. Um, how's it going, man? Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I have, when did I start collecting Power Rangers? So uh, I had never seen a single episode of Power Rangers or any Toku at all until Samurai debuted in 2011. So it's been nearly 10 years, which is insane. I can't even believe that. Uh, but I didn't start collecting for about a year after that. Uh, my my first Power Rangers toy that I ever got was uh, in 2012. My parents got me the uh, the Claw Armor Megazord. The, so the Samurai Megazord and the Claw Megazord, the, the, the two of them together. There was a Toys R Us combo set of that. Uh, they got me that for my birthday in 2012, and that was that was the beginning. <laughs> that was my first uh, Power Rangers toy that I had ever asked for and received. Um, and then that's that. Uh, I spent 2012. It was a it was a goal of mine to try to collect everything to make the Gigazord. I thought that was like the coolest thing in the world, uh, and I did it. Uh, I did collect everything for the Gigazord by the end of the year. I think I got like the final piece for Christmas, uh, and so it was like a big achievement of mine. And then I started collecting things basically as, for the most part, as they came out. Tried to backlog a little bit. I got into Rider in 2013 uh, with Gaim. Uh, well, I had watched Double and Ryuki before Gaim started. But I started, I watched Gaim as it aired. And uh, that's when I started with that. And then I started Sentai with Kyoyuger. It was my first one I watched live. But I started with Gokaiger when I first got exposed to it. Um, so... Yeah, <laughs> I've been collecting for a while. Like I said, it's been almost 10 years, which I I can't even believe that like at all. <laughs> it just doesn't even feel right. Um, but um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I have. Yeah, I mean, today, my primary primarily focusing on lightning collection for Power Rangers. Uh, I didn't get the Beast Morphers Zords because I have some of the Go Busters ones. And I just didn't feel like they were worth it, nor could you find them. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, t- I mean, today I've primarily focused more on Ultraman and Rider, I would say, uh, except for lightning clearly is a very big part of my collection, something that I love a lot. Um, so that's basically my prime power just collecting at this point. Uh, I would always be down to go back and find more stuff. I really need some Dino Thunder Morphers. I just finished rewatching that series, uh, about a week ago and I'm in some desperate need of that. <laughs> I love those Morphers so much. I, I dug this recently watching spd right now so i, I did get my spd morpher out because i love this thing it's my favorite morphers of all time uh this is the bandai um but yeah i need to get all three of the dino thunder morphers i love that season so much and i can't believe i don't have any of them at all um let's see what else yeah uh, spring Roland said just overwhelmed with all the lightning disney and marvel stuff i know what was today <laughs> what even was this uh i, I i'm very tired uh, I've been up since 1 a.m. I took a, a, I took a small three-hour nap in between there um, just to kind of recharge for five seconds. Uh, but it's been a long day because I had two finals to do this morning That because uh, I had I had an anticipated wave announcement. Today. So I got those done. I woke up at 1 a.m. to start those. I finished them by like 6 a.m. And then I kind of just trying to get some things done. And then Mighty Morphin Green arrived out of nowhere. So I worked on that and then, yeah, so it's been, and then wave eight happened. And then the, you know, the game awards with the smash character reveal, even though I don't know who that is. And then the, uh, everything with Disney stuff. Oh, it's been such a chaotic day. And I, I was just, wondering. well, all right. All the metals just fell onto the floor. <laughs> Hi gears. You dipping in Josh? Probably. I mean, we all know that I'm going to. Uh, I have to see them first. I have to see them first, but it's it's probably going to happen. Um, let's see. Do I try to get the Sentai merch as well or solely stick to Lightning? So 
I I like Sentai merch a lot. I I think I prefer Sentai's changers uh, a lot. So I'm trying to go back and get a bunch of those because I really like. I want to get like a pr- relatively complete Morpher collection. And I I barely have any Morphers, <laughs> so I really need to get some more. Um, and if, like Ranger keys and stuff, full Sentai on that one. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. Uh, thank you all so much. In the- we have 34 people watching right now. I really appreciate that. Uh, and it's just really great seeing all your comments. Let's see. Uh, so I got lightning collection. Oh, yeah. Dino Thunder is fantastic. Such a good, such a good series. Um, I, I can't believe how long the Powers rewatch has taken me. I was supposed to complete it all in the year of 2019, and that clearly didn't happen. <laughs> so, uh, and the fact that we're, you know, at the end of 2020, and I'm only in SPD. Yeah, so we're going to get there. Um, but it is going a little bit quicker. I mean, I finished Ninja Storm and Down the Thunder um, about 10 episodes in SPD, uh, and I've done all that in about a month. So if we can just kind of go a little faster, it'd be great. Um, let's see. Definitely curious about the Zenkaiju Change Hero series figures. Yeah, I know Corey was wondering if those are going to replace Yudo or not. Uh, not that Yudo would have ever finished anything anyway, but maybe uh we'll see i mean I, i'm very curious it just it's a shame that we live in the day now where we're not going to get any more toy scans um because <laughs> you know i uh i miss those days i mean like i don't know if you saw and if anyone saw the saber toy listings they're so bland we have no idea what that stuff is it's like interlocking item number one vinyl number one i'm like that could be literally anything so, because we, we won't know. Like, we know that things are happening. We, like, you know, you can still sort of budget out for it and everything, but you have no idea what it's called or what it looks like. It's just, it's a shame. But um, RJ said, Josh, hurry up and get to Jungle Fury. We all know it's the best. <laughs> um, speaking of that, I mean, we think, because uh, uh, Jungle Fury actually got eliminated in our uh, the Versus series that I'm a part of right now with uh, Squ- uh, Squall Charleston is running it on his channel if you guys haven't checked that out uh part of that series he just uploaded the first episode last week the second one is going up tomorrow as far as i'm aware we've recorded so many of these i think we just because we recorded some of them yesterday like 13th or 14th 13th somewhere around that i think we've recorded at least over 10 of these um and so they'll be out over the course of the next couple of months really i think they're releasing every friday on his channel but we're basically, we're, we're debating. Uh, it's me, Squall, and then it's uh, Alsace, uh, Black Ranger Reviews, and then, um, what's the other one? Uh, Sean, a friend of Squall's. All really, really great guys. In fact, I was actually at Black Ranger Reviews who hooked me up with the Spectrum Monsters, so huge shout-out to him. We're narrating them all down. Uh, I'm not going to spoil what you know makes it to the uh, to the finals, but we are we just recently recorded part of the finals. So we do know who makes it all the way down to there. And it's been a really fun series. And uh, I'm happy that school invited me to do it. So I hope you guys can check that out if you guys want to see that. It was a lot of fun. So, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it was uh, In Space versus Jungle Fury was our first episode last week. And uh, I mean, these are difficult because you know, we really have been thinking about the, the you know what each season brings to the table and so squall had all the choices picked out uh they're all like automatic uh from a computer so it's not like we uh you know we 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 didn't try to put up certain seasons together it was just all randomized but it made it really difficult because we got to some pairings that the seasons were just both so good it was hard to eliminate one of them but we did make it down to our finals and it was a difficult process along the way i'm i'm definitely sad to see some seasons go but it was a fun series so, who do I think would win in space or RPM? My personal opinion would be RPM. I love RPM a lot. Not in, not that in space is bad or anything. It's it's an amazing series. I just think RPM is just so incredible, and we really, really need some lightning figures from it. Um, so let's see. Um, did Falcon's driver get announced? Did that happen? Well, since I've been here, maybe it did. I don't. I have no idea. <laughs> I haven't checked Twitter in like forty five minutes. Maybe that happened. Um, how awesome was that Care Major Mecha battle a few weeks ago? I'm sure it was great, but I'm laughably, laughably behind on Kira Major. Uh, I'm, the last episode I watched was in August with the, the uh, debut of Machine Express Zabune. So it's been a minute. We all knew that was going to happen. But to be fair, 
I'm not as behind on Zet than I am with Kira Major. And for once, I'm not I didn't drop an Ultraman series. So if we kind of weigh our options here, I think I made the better choice, kind of. Um and I'm two episodes behind on Saber. I'm just I've been really busy. <laughs> um you know, I'm gonna catch up. I just haven't gotten to it yet. I will though. I, I love watching Toku, of course, but for Sentai, I just I really like I, I week to week is fine, but I just think it's better enjoyed binging it, so that's what I'll probably end up doing. But uh Toy Story Care Major episode. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a really cool you see that's another thing. It's like I feel like I'm caught up. Because Toku Twitter definitely lets me know about every single thing that is happening in all the shows the second that they air. So I I know. I know everything that's happening in Zet and Saber and Kira Major. So I feel like I've watched them all, even though I haven't. I haven't seen a single episode with Yodana in it from Kira Major yet. However, I feel like I already know that character a ton because she's all over my Twitter timeline all the time. So, you know... That's just how it is. Uh, I just, you know, that's just how it is. Um, do I think May will be a writer? I don't know if they would. I would love to see it, though. Uh, I think I'm one of the people who actually think her character is pretty fun. And so I would love to see it. Uh, let's see. Uh, at least you're not a year behind on the shows. That's true. <laughs> I've Have I ever been that bad? I mean, I guess technically, because I, I have just outright dropped some sometimes before and i guess that technically put me a year behind but yeah i'm not prepared to watch this finale i've become so invested in that show i know i this will be the first ultra series that i finish so we'll see how it finishes hopefully it finishes out strong um i mean i definitely the, the toy line got me it definitely got me i don't know why i'm just holding these i picked them up off the hey anyway <laughs> um but yeah i mean are they gonna fall no, we're good. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think that only has like two episodes left or something like that. It's going to be gone here pretty soon. So, well, at least you finished Strongest Battle. Oh, <laughs> yep. Nope. I, I am committed to never finishing Strongest Battle. It's a stupid, stupid joke that I'm going to continue on forever. It's even a joke. It's not even funny. I don't know. I just, I, I feel like I'm never going to finish it. I, I intentionally stopped at the fourth episode of that because it's a four episode mini series. I watched three fourths of it and I stopped. But you know, it never gave me a new Ranger key set. So if I never finish it, the hope never dies, right? Sure. <laughs> um, Dino Charge Red on Dino Fury set. Oh, was he? Was he there? Um, like, I mean, I could probably be helping out or something. But, uh, yeah, let's see what else is going on. Uh, it's not the strong logic. <laughs> that is not the strongest logic. No, it's not. It's not the strongest logic for the strongest battle. Um, I don't even know. Did I ever even down? I did. I downloaded the fourth episode. I have it. I just never watched it. Uh, but once again, I've seen the final fight scene against the what is the die Satan or whatever from G Ranger, and when they all transform into their uh, upgrade forms so like Gokai Red gets gold mode and all that stuff, which is really cool that they did that. Um, I've seen that fight, I've seen that transformation sequence and everything. So it's one of those cases to where like Toku Twitter basically let me see it already. So I just haven't actually sat down and watched it. But then again, I don't even remember what happened. It, I mean, Strongest Battle was almost two years ago at this point. Which, wow, it was that is weird, but yeah, it was almost two years ago at this point, and it's like. I don't even remember what happened at the end of episode three. <laughs> so uh, more and more pirates next year for sure. I I was going to say I hope so, but next year is going to be expensive. I mean, I just pre-ordered more stuff on HLJ this morning for Zet because, you know, the toy line is going to continue past the show. Uh, uh, like I got a Jugglist Juggler figure this morning, or I'm sorry, uh, what did HLJ name it as? It was, uh, oh, crap, it was really stupid. Roland, you should know. You were making in our group chat. But, yeah, they named him really weird or something. But I picked up his figure uh, because why not? <laughs> um, and a bunch of other medals. And, you know, we have the Soto sets coming out. And we have J Jiggler. <laughs> Is that what it was? <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. Um, but, 
yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff coming out this ne- next year, so I really kind of hope that there's not a Memorial Mobarts. At the same time, I would have to buy that. Now, Ranger Keys. Ranger Keys would be the thing that would go above Lightning Collection in my list of priorities. First and foremost, I mean, Ranger Keys I've kind of accepted are gone at this point. I kind of have to. It's been over 1,500 days since the last key set announcement. But, like, the thing is, though, it's in my Twitter name. It's kind of, you know, it's my thing. Lightning's kind of replaced it, but, you know, if it ever came back, the space right there at the top, it's, it's reserved for it. But, um, yeah, I, Ultraman, it happened. I, I mean, like, the medals are just so cool. <laughs> and the fact that that this toy has all of those sounds programmed into it for all the previous shows, so all the forms and everything, so, like... That's what really sold me because since I wanted to get into the other shows recently and I just, you know, finally started doing that with Jeed and I plan to probably watch Orb after I finish Jeed. Um, I wanted to be able to have all the transformation sounds in here. And I was kind of hoping that if I just bought this one toy with all the transformation sounds, it would maybe kind of, you know, distract me from wanting to get the other risers from the other shows. Is that working? Do I want a deed riser? Yeah. Yeah, I do. And so is the plan really working? Not really well, but at least in theory, it's going to work. But instead, I just bought like a hundred medals, and you know, I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> so <laughs> that's kind of what happened. Um, and and now at this point, I'm so far in with the medals, I might as well just try to finish them off. So, but um, but I don't know what you're talking about the Beast Morphers game with Ranger Keys, and have you seen those Dino Fury Ranger Keys? Oh, this would be so good. I mean. We got so far. We just we need Geoger, we need Key Ranger, we need Blue Pat, we Soldier, Kira Major, and I guess then Zenkaiger too. So if they ever did keys, if they did like one massive set, it'd be over fifty keys. Which I would say they wouldn't do, but then again, they did do a forty key set for Tokyuger, which was ridiculous. But they did that. <laughs> so But um let's see. Uh, all of my HasbroCon PR stuff shipped individually. Does that happen a lot? Uh, yep. Hasbro is notorious for that. Uh, my favorite example, uh, just to show how ridiculous it is, I, I remember seeing on Twitter back when uh, when Wave uh, 4 came out earlier this year, and I think, I'm pretty sure it was Sentai 5 posted, that he had he received eight figures from Hasbro Pulse. It was like a big order of his. And they sent him eight individual figure boxes, which is just so stupid i don't understand why hasbro and so i think a little bit recently i think some people have actually seen people get more things in one box but hasbro just doesn't understand the concept of a bigger box can fit more things so they send out individual boxes for everything i think the most i've ever received because i usually get like one figure from pulse at a time so i don't really have that much of an opportunity to get more than one thing at once but um last year when i got Beast Morphers Red and Gold from Wave 2, they actually came in the same box. So that was the first time I ever got that happen. It's very weird. I don't get it. But, you know, since I have Pulse Premium, I'm not paying shipping, so they can send it in as many boxes as they want. I don't really care. I just think it is weird because, you know, you would think that they just want to save on the resources and the shipping costs. If they're paying for the shipping, you'd think they would want to ship one, you know, larger thing than, like, five smaller things. Whatever. Um, <laughs> separate ra- <laughs> separate boxes for every ranger key. Yeah, that's that's how they would do it. One one key per box. Oh my gosh, that'd be rid- oh my god, there'd be like a hundred little boxes arriving to the house. Um, but oh, I know wave four was this year, crazy, right? Yeah, th- this year was wave four, five, six, seven, and then eight is yet to be seen. I mean, there's like three weeks left in the year. Eight could totally just pop up. I really hope it doesn't, but it totally could. Um, but yeah, <laughs> but let's see what else is going on. We're about to hit an hour here, which is crazy. Um, I'll, I'm probably not going to open any of this stuff on camera. Uh, I guess I, I, I could, but I mean, I've just enjoyed this conversation. The, the point was just to open the actual HLJ box besides it's almost 11 o'clock here and I'm, I'm getting tired and I got to wake up at 5 a.m. to watch Mandalorian with my dad before he leaves for work uh, so I can see it before my Twitter spoils me on it. <laughs> That's how that goes. Uh, every, every Friday morning we wake up and do that. Um, so 
So I will be going here relatively soon so I can get at least a couple hours of sleep in. And, and then, yes, there will be the uh, unboxing slash first impressions video of MMPR Green up tomorrow. And then what else is going up? So that's going up tomorrow. Tomorrow I should be getting my Versus packs uh, from Big Bad Toys. And that will be... I will record the video for that, but I probably won't put that up until Sunday. So that way there's a video on Sunday. And then Saturday will be Lightning Storm. Next Wednesday is Lightning Library on the um, uh, the White Ranger helmet. That's the next entry in the Lightning Collection I'm covering. Uh, so that will be when that happens. And then <laughs> I've been watching Mandalorian with Dawson. <laughs> uh, I see all the new Star Wars news. Yeah, I did. Man, am I, am I, am I hyped. Uh, I've never been... I mean, I love Star Wars, but it's never been like my biggest thing that I've been into. Uh, I'm much more of a Marvel fan than Star Wars. But then, of course, you know, Hasbro has to get me even with that. Because, like, here's the Black Series Biscar Mando. Uh, so, you know, that's how that goes. But, damn it, Hasbro. I've I've broken all of my rules this past year. I've bought, I, I have bought one G.I. Joe classified figure. I've bought Black Series figures. I've bought Marvel Legends figures. All things I told myself I could never do. And I did it. Damn it. <laughs> but, <laughs> so, oh, thank you for, thank you, Roland. I, I try. Um, that, so, yeah, those are all the videos I have going on right now. Like I said, the Spectrum series video I'm going to be doing, I've been filming little chunks of that. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put a lot of editing time into that to make something pretty interesting. Uh, and just to kind of discuss how Target and Hasbro are just kind of being the worst with this <laughs> um, and how much of a fiasco it's been to get all eight of these. And I just thought it'd be kind of a fun story once they all get here. Um, so we'll see about that. Uh, like I said, that should probably, I'm hoping to be out by the 20th, somewhere in that range. Now that everything is actually on the way, that actually is realistic for everything to get here. Maybe, if USPS doesn't keep delaying it into oblivion, the Spectrum series boxes for Mighty Morphin Green and Z Putty actually might arrive tomorrow. And I will be recording an unboxing for those for the for the Spectrum video, but you won't see that footage yet. But I will post a photo of them on Twitter if they do come. And of course I'll show them off on the streets tomorrow night if they come as well. Uh so you found Mando Black Series pre Beskar at GameStop. That's cool. That's a rare one. So if you if you need one or want that one, I would definitely pick that one up. I have him over there. <laughs> see, this is the funny thing. I knew they were gonna do Beskar Mando. Uh, but I was I wanted to get a Biscar Mandalorian figure earlier this year, and I was waiting for them to announce one, and then they didn't announce one at Toy Fair. So a couple days after Toy Fair, this is back in February, they who uh, was Amazon. Amazon put up the regular original Mandalorian figure, so I picked that up. And I kid you not, that night, like before the box had even shipped, Yak Face had leaked the the Biscar the Biscar one that just recently came out. And I'm like, that's hilarious. <laughs> like, of course, right when I buy it, after I was waiting for it, they, th that one gets leaked. I mean, I knew it was going to happen, but I just always thought that was funny. So what am I? Wa what are we watching in the streets tomorrow? I think we're watching whatever that other series that Chris found on that channel with the BMX stuff. So I, I can't remember the name of it, uh, but it's more BMX stuff. So it's going to be great. Uh, that's, you know, it, it's amazing watching BMX racing at one o'clock in the morning. That's my favorite thing to do every week so and it always creates some pretty uh crazy <laughs> bmx beat that's it so hopefully this one has a an amazing theme song uh theme tune like all the other ones did uh because i mean let's face it they were amazing but uh so will there be a best and worst of 2020 for ramble time well the worst of 2020 would be the whole year so i mean that's kind of just going to be that. <laughs> Time to throw a tassel in that. Yeah, exactly. Your edit that you posted that Power Rider, by the way, was really, really funny. Uh, <laughs> that was great. Um, let's see what else. I was going to say something else about my video schedule, but I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Um, so there will also be, um, now that everything is on. Uh, yeah. What's up, Green Arrow? 92. What's going on? Um, now that uh, everything is on the way for a lightning collection for the year there will be i will do like a ranking video of like my favorite to least favorite or least favorite to favorite however order i want to flip it uh a lightning collection that i hope to be out on the on new year's eve so we'll see how that goes should be manageable though uh i, I just want to have a couple of you know 
a little bit of time with all the new releases just to really get my full thoughts on them and everything like that. Um, so look for that by the end of the year because I should have every, hopefully with USPS willing and FedEx willing, I would have everything arrive by then. So, but, um, uh, but yeah, so well, what's your personal news on Lightning? Let me hear it. Um, but yeah, I guess that's what I got going on for the channel. I have plans. I think, I, I don't know if anyone saw it, but I tweeted out a little bit ago, a couple of days ago, that I have a bunch of video ideas in the works for stuff on Ultraman, stuff on Rider, stuff on Sentai, and Power Rangers. Because uh, the collection has dominated the channel, not that that's, not that that's wrong or anything like that. Uh, I definitely want to branch out. I've really wanted to, uh, but Lightning Collection just does the best here, so I continue to do that all the time, which is fine. I love the line a lot. Uh, but I would like to do more stuff and see how it does on the channel, and so I, I hope people are interested in that. We'll see how it goes. If it bombs, then we'll just, we won't do it. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm not ready to say any of those yet because I don't know if they'll even you know take off or go anywhere. Uh, but I'm hoping to launch that and have more details on that stuff soon. Uh, not until next year. It won't be until next year. Uh, but hopefully more details. I can talk about that later. Uh, your pre your pre-order for Metallic Pink was shipped. That's good. So was mine. Uh, actually, when is that arriving? Let me check the tracking of that real quick. Because I know I saw the label got created on FedEx, but I didn't see what date it said it was going to be here. I would anticipate they probably. Yeah. But it doesn't have any date for me yet. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys, I guess, um, for watching this live stream. It uh, we went on a little longer than I anticipated it to, but it was, it was really fun. Um, thank you. I mean, we had almost consistently about 30 people here for the whole live stream. I didn't think that many people would show up for a relatively later stream. So um, I uh, can't wait to stick her up Soto Gaim. I'll probably be doing that tomorrow night. So that'll be good. Uh, I'm going to open up these medals here probably in a little bit. Maybe mess around with them for a minute and put them in the in the uh, the metal case. So I'll post pictures on Twitter of the hall. I'll post pictures of the case being filled and everything before I go to bed here tonight. And uh, yeah, thank you guys all so much for uh, for chiming in here on the stream. It was really great reading comments and just chatting for a while. And uh, uh, the last thing here I see is did I see the Power Rangers Twitter? They called Leo West. Oh yeah, I that was weird. I don't know what happened with that. <laughs> so <laughs> it was just those weird goofs that they do. Uh, but the, you know, they, like like you said, there they they got it and they, they posted about it again. But um, yep, we're gonna be a little bit of a wait for Wave Eight. But I pre-ordered it on two different places. I picked it up on Pulse and on Target, just in case Target does Spectrums again. I don't want to be burned on that. Also, Target was having some coupons going on right now, so I got like ten dollars off of it. And also, Target says they're gonna be out in March, while Pulse says they're gonna be out in April. So I feel like even though Target is frustrated. Straining me, I feel like they might be the best way to go for the wave eight. So I snagged them there and and pulse, and so we'll see which whoever goes first. Uh, hopefully, I can just cancel the ones in time. But uh, I think we're gonna probably wrap it up here. Like I said, there'll be pictures on Twitter here in a couple of minutes, and uh, that's all I really got to say. So once again, thank you all so much for showing up here in the live chat tonight. We had a lot of familiar uh, faces that I always interact with on Twitter. Yeah, familiar faces. I couldn't see anyone. Familiar names <laughs> that I always see on on Twitter, and I interact with a lot. And it's always great. So thank you all for uh, for showing up. And uh, Chris, I'll talk to you tomorrow night on the streets. And be sure you guys check out the streets tomorrow night to see everyone's walks and hauls for the week, uh, all of our thoughts and all the news because there was a, this was a pretty busy week of stuff. Um, and also um, check out that versus series on School Charleston's channel because that was really fun and. That's going to be going for a while. So every Friday, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's every Friday. I know the, the next episode is going up tomorrow. Uh, I already saw the edited version of it, and I think it looked pretty good. So be sure you guys check that one out. And, uh, yep, my next video will be tomorrow, probably around noon uh, for the Mighty Morphin Green figure, and noon on Saturday with Lightning Storm. And uh, that's all I got. So, all right, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. So have a good night, everyone. And uh, hope today was a enjoyable day if you were excited about any of the news because I think it was a pretty fun day in the end and it's something that we really needed in <laughs> this chaotic time of 2020. So all right, I'll see you all on Twitter and in other videos. And until next time, Tokusatsu forever. <laughs>